Hi, it's Lou Agave of Long Island Lou Tequila on Facebook, Instagram, the web, and TikTok. Today, we're going to talk about what I think is the world's top two añejos. This is a heavy añejo. This is a really good añejo. It's in my top two. It really is. There's really two or three in the whole world. Those are my favorite añejos, and those are the ones I'm going to drink. This is one, two. This is right there tied with another one of my favorites. <clears throat> this is Azunia. This is the Azunia, what they call the black. It used to come in a black wooden box. You can get it without the box. You save some money. It's about 99 bucks. This is from Z's Old Town. So, you know, I buy these all the time. You can get these for like 99. They used to be 89. But, you know, I see them as high as, you know, 130, 140 as well. This is, if you like whiskey, bourbon, brandy, guys, this is your baby. I'm not kidding you. This is it. So this this is just absolutely phenomenal. Layered, bold, and rich. I mean, this has got it all. This The nose is phenomenal on this. I've had it before, but I'm going to pop this open for you right here. This is unique. It's double barreled. Okay? You're not going to read that in too many places. All right? I got the inside info on this. This is, yeah, it's two years. It's two years, which is a good amount for Añejo, by the way. This drinks like an extra Añejo, to be honest with you, for 100 bucks, It really does. It's amazing. But it's 18 months in used Jack Daniels American White Oak charred barrels. Then it's six more months in a special secret proprietary barrel that they won't tell anybody about, all right? So together, it's, you know, it's two years. So there you go for this guy, right? This is a connoisseur's... Añejo, okay? This is for this is for aficionados. This is it. This is not something that, you know, you're going to mix with. You could, of course, and I wouldn't put ice in it, but you could, of course. This is for sipping. This is really, you know, this is hand-signed and numbered by the master distiller Salvador Rivera Cardona. This is the real deal. This this is really good stuff, okay? This is coming out of Nam 1426 in the valley. It's in the uh, Matitan area. And that's where the agaves come from. Their uh, special single estate in the Amatitan area. I was just there. It's beautiful there. There's a lot of tequila history and culture going on down there. So this is really, really good. This is 100% organic agaves, okay, from that region. You know, then they use a hono. So the hono is for 36 hours in brick, all right? It's a clay, you know, uh, stone oven, I actually call it. Uh, roll and milled, uh, three times it's pressed, all right? So they try to get it all out of there because they want to get all the sugars out and they don't want to use the bagazzo, you know, the uh, fibers in the fermentation, which they don't. So uh, it's natural wild yeast, okay? This is like really, really good way, open stainless steel, you know, fermentation vats. And again, with no bagazzo and Doubles distilled in stainless steel, but here's the deal. They only distill this to 46, 47 proof, okay? Not your normal 55 proof that most places do. So think about it. If they're only going to go out to 46, 47%, and then it's time to put some water in to make it 40%, which is what it is, 80 proof, there's not putting a lot of water in here, not as much as they would with some others. So you're going to get a thicker, uh, creamier, you're going to get more of a presence, a heavier, a heavier añejo, okay, less water, so I call this a heavy añejo, you know, just the other day on Facebook, people were tr asking me to compare different things, they asked me to compare an XA to this, and actually, I said normally I wouldn't do that, but because this is a really heavy XA, I could do it, and actually, I think I would have rather had this and over, over the other XA, okay, this is really good, this is one of my favorites, you know, along with the Arte Norm 1146, and, uh, you know, Fortaleza X, uh, Añejo is also really good, but this is in the top two, okay, so here we go, we're going to pop this open, and let's check it out, let's, uh, you know, I've had it before, like I said, but it's been a while, and let's open up this other bottle now, all right, and see what we can come up with now. Um, you're going to get a lot of different flavors. It's layered. It's just got so much going on. I recall, um, you know, leather and tobacco and butterscotch. You get all these different things on here, you know. Um, it's really, really bold, and it's a nice sipping Añejo for whiskey and bourbon. Lovers, you're going to flip out. Oh, cherry right off the bat. I love, love, look how rich that is. Look at the color. 
Is that something else? This is really nice stuff. So, oh man, listen, I'm telling you, it's been a while and I'm really happy I'm doing this tonight. Oh, this is so unique with the double barreling. I really love it. Caramel and butterscotch and smoke and like I said, leather and raisin. It's like a raisin thing going on. Even like a plum, you know, the way that fruit comes off on this uh, heavy age stuff. That's what you get a lot of times. Maybe even some nutmeg, let's say. Of course, it's spicy. Oh, wow. Nice. Whiskey-ish, you know, with the oak. A lot of wood popping out. So this is a little more, I'd say a little more barrel. You're going to get barrel presence than agave. Although I am getting a lot of sweetness, which some of it is probably still coming through from the agave. I am getting the honey. That delicious honey that you get, that smell from uh, cooked agave. But like I say, some cherry. Vanilla, caramel, but not a lot, not a lot. Light smoke. Wow. Let this just sit out there and hang out for just a second, all right? This is full this is full bodied, okay? Just from just from the aromas. Dark and bold as as look at that color. That's unbelievable. Like I say, Z's Old Town Tequila and other places online. It's about $99. Try to get it without the box. Who needs a box? You get it for less money. You know, uh, Special Reserva, 80 proof. So here we go. Wow. Oh, man, the honey, the caramel, the raisin. It's silky, though. It's nice. Let's give this another, give this bad boy another sip here. Mmm. There's only a little heat on the back end. This is really silky. This is nice to drink, you know, caramel and vanilla, but like I say, balanced. Cherry, honey. Some fruit. Yeah, like, you know, I think more like um, maybe a touch of apple, melon, a little citrus. Maybe like, you know, like a brown sugar, maybe, you know. A little bit of that nutmeg I mentioned, but a little of the cinnamon as well. It's layered. It's nice. It's delicious. Tequila matchmaker. I'd have to give like a 91 or something like this. It's about as high as I'm going to go for an Añejo. This is absolutely phenomenal. So, I mean, again, you know, you're a whiskey drinker, bourbon, you know, brandy. You want this. You want this. So, you know, Azunia, black, Añejo, two years, double barreled. Good procedures, good cooking methods, good everything. This is great. You really want to check this out. Azunia.